Greetings, YouTube. So it appears that the quote-unquote crisis of the debt ceiling has been alleviated. Um, President Obama announced last night that they're going to have a vote, and they've reached, reached a compromise that everyone's happy with. And then I heard the details of it on the way home. So the Democrats gave up tax hikes on the wealthy. One of the two things that the United States desperately needs to help get us out of the problem that we are in. So they threw away the one thing they had to get. And in uh, payment for that, the compromise, they have, they have taken off the uh, ballot budget balanced budget amendment so that's not going to happen okay folks here's the news flash there was never going to be a balanced budget amendment it's never going to happen so the Republicans gave away an imaginary piece of legislation and in return the Democrats gave them over a trillion dollars of cuts. So the Democrats got nothing and the Republicans got everything they wanted. That's not compromise. That's losing. Now, those cuts I just mentioned, you see, in America right now, we're being told that we have to share the burden. Well, all those cuts that are going to have take place over the next decade or so are going to affect the poor and the middle class. None of them are going to have any effect on the wealthy. So we're going to expect the poor and the middle class to spend more money because those cuts are going to mean they're not going to get access to programs they currently have access to. But we're not asking the wealthy Americans, the people who have all the money, who can afford to pay more taxes without lowering their quality of life at all. We're not asking them to pay more. No, no, no. We're asking the people who can't afford to pay more, the middle class and the poor, those cuts will affect them and will lower their uh, quality of life. But it's okay if we ask the poor and the middle class to take a cut. That's sharing the burden. But we can't ask the wealthy people to share the burden. That's not allowed. So I would love if someone could explain to me how this is a compromise. Because it sounds to me like the Democrats lost again. And the Republicans won again. Even though 80% of Americans want us to tax the wealthy. 80%! And yet, the Democrats failed. You could hand the Democrats the baton. You could put them three feet from the finish line in the baton race. All they would have to do is fall forward across the line and they would fail. I'm just astounded. Once again, conservative Republicans get what they want and Democrats fail miserably. USA